CS8200 3D. Using CS8200 3D Neo Edition. This recorded class is designed for clinical team members and demonstrates how to acquire images using the new CS8200 3D Neo Edition system. The CS8200 3D Neo Edition imaging system is designed to capture 2D panoramic images, 3D CBCT images, cephalometric images, and 3D model scanning images. Be aware that after each use of the unit, you must disinfect any parts that came into contact with the patient. See the user's guide for more information on disinfection and equipment maintenance. Program selections for 2D exams. You can choose between two programs, panoramic or sinus. To perform a panoramic exam, click Panoramic and click the area you would like to examine. You can choose from several 2D exams, Standard Panoramic, TMJ times 2, TMJ times 4, Panoramic without TMJ, and Bite Wing exam. You can select both bite wings or you can select the right or left bite wing. To perform a maxillary sinus exam, click Sinus. For an explanation of the radiological exam options, see the CS8200 3D Neo Edition Imaging System User's Guide. Patient Selection for 2D Exams In all 2D exam types, you have two settings that can be adjusted. On the main interface, select the patient's head size. Select child, adult small, medium, or large. When you select the appropriate head size, the KV and MA are adjusted automatically. Next, on the main interface, select the dental arch morphology or jaw shape. When you select the appropriate jaw shape, the trajectory beam is adjusted to capture the correct focal trough. U is for a normal jaw shape and square or V are for a narrow arch shape. Select from the following imaging modes. Standard mode, which is designed for all 2D acquisition. Low dose, which reduces a patient's exposure to radiation and is used only for panoramic acquisitions. Parameter settings for 2D exams. For patients whose bone density requires KV and MA settings that are different from the defaults, click the Menu button to display the Parameters window and select the settings you want. Select here to fine-tune the KV setting. KV sets the penetration power of X-ray photons through the body. A higher bone density requires a higher KV but results in a lower contrast in the image. Select here to fine-tune the MA settings. MA sets the number of X-ray photons released from the X-ray tube. Increasing the MA does not provide more penetrating power or lower the X-ray contrast. However, it will provide an image that is darker overall. If you want to set these values, as the default parameters for the patient type you have selected, click KVMA, Save as Default. Until these settings are changed, the selected patient type uses the KVMA value you have selected. To reset the KVMA back to the factory settings, click Reset to Factory. Click Default Acquisition Presets 
to set the imaging mode to start in standard dose or low dose mode for full panoramic exams. Click Save as default. To reset the default acquisition presets back to the factory settings, click Reset to Factory. Acquiring 2D images. Positioning a patient. For all 2D exam types, panoramic, segmented pan, sinus, TMJ times 2 or TMJ times 4, and bite wing. Prepare the unit and the patient. When you select a radiological exam option, this icon shows the positioning accessory that you must use and how to position the patient's head. The pop-up icon will remain for three seconds. Click the icon if you need to see it again. Click again to hide the pop-up. If you would like to disable the pop-up, click the menu button, click General Settings. The User Preferences window is displayed. Toggle the button Display Accessory Pop-up to disable, and the pop-up will not display for three seconds by default. Note. In the patient's history record, any settings used during their first visit are automatically saved in order to save time for the exam. The patient type and patient height icon will appear in orange for returning patients. Positioning a patient for all 2D exam types. Panoramic, segmental pan, sinus, and TMJ times 2 or times 4. Position the panoramic chin rest and make sure it clicks firmly into place. Cover the bite block with a plastic hygienic barrier. Ensure the bite block is completely covered with the hygienic barrier. Fit the bite block to the panoramic chin rest. For edentulous patients, use an edentulous bite block. Before the patient enters the unit, ask the patient to remove any metal objects above the neck, including jewelry, glasses, hearing aids, prosthesis, metal hair clips, or other metal objects. Place the lead apron on the patient, and instruct the patient to stand next to the unit. Next, adjust the unit to the patient's height. The CS8200 3D can be easily adjusted for patients standing or sitting and is wheelchair accessible. Turn the temple support adjustment knob counterclockwise to open the temple support laterally. On the positioning panel, press and hold the height button to move the machine to the height of the patient. If the patient is tall, have the patient sit on a stool and then adjust the unit. Ask the patient to stand up straight with feet at shoulder width. Ask the patient to bite on the bite groove. Have the patient part their lips and verify that the teeth are in the bite groove. Ask the patient to rest both hands on the lower handles of the head and chin rest. When the patient is properly positioned, push the temple support back to match the patient's temple area. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise to close the temple supports and use the horizontal positioning indicators as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient head for a Frankfurt plane horizontal alignment. The Frankfurt plane passes through the lower border of the orbital socket and the tragus of the ear. Positioning a patient for 2D exam type extraoral bite wing. Use the horizontal positioning indicators as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient head 
for a camper plane horizontal alignment. Horizontal occlusion. The camper plane passes through the lower border of the nose and the tragus of the ear. Using both hands, align the horizontal and vertical position of the head. Ensure that the patient's midline is aligned with the spine. Ask the patient to close their eyes, remain still, breathe through the nose, instruct the patient not to swallow during the acquisition, place the tongue on the palate. Exit the room. Maintain visual contact with the patient throughout the duration of the exposure. Launch the x-ray with the remote control. Simply press and hold the exposure button until the end of the acquisition is indicated by the on-screen release hand switch message and a short beep. The x-ray exposure indicator turns yellow and a warning sound is heard during x-ray emission. When the acquisition ends, the acquisition interface disappears and the acquired image is automatically transferred to the imaging window. After the acquisition is complete, return to the room, release the patient, and remove the hygiene barrier from the bite block. Program selection for 3D exams. You can choose between two programs. Focus exam, also known as a teeth exam, and jaw exams. Click teeth exam and click the area you would like to examine. Click on a letter to select an area of interest. The letters on the main interface correspond with the letters on bite block one. Click jaw exam and choose the area you would like to examine. The following JAW 3D program types are included Upper Arch, Lower Arch, and Full Jaw Exam. The programs include the following options. Low Dose Acquisition Button, which reduces a patient's exposure to radiation. Fast Scan Button, which minimizes acquisition time to avoid movement from the patient and high resolution, which allows the user to see more detail and is available on the 4x4 and 8x9 field of view exams. Note that the CS8200 3D Neo Edition 10x5, 10x10, 12x5, and 12x10 fields of view are available as an upgraded feature. Patient Selection for 3D Exams These settings are for all 3D exam types. On the main interface, select the patient's head size. Select Child, Adult Small, Medium, or Large. When you select the appropriate head size, the KV and MA are adjusted automatically. Your selection adapts exposure settings to maximize the image quality for specific patient morphologies. Parameter settings for 3D exams. For patients whose bone density requires KV and MA settings different from the defaults, Click the Menu button to display the Parameters window and select the settings you want. Select here to fine-tune the KV setting. KV sets the penetration power of X-ray photons through the body. A higher bone density requires a higher KV but results in a lower contrast in the image. Select here to fine-tune the MA settings. MA sets the number of X-ray photons released from the X-ray tube. 
increasing the MA does not provide more penetrating power or lower the X-ray contrast. However, it will provide an image that is darker overall. If you would like to set these values as the default parameters for the patient type you have selected, click KVMA, Save as Default. Until changed, the patient type uses the KV and MA values you have selected. To reset KV and MA back to the factory settings, click Reset to Factory. Click Default Acquisition Presets to set the imaging mode for a teeth exam or a jaw exam. For each exam, set the field of view and the resolution that you want to use as your default. Click Save as Default. To reset the default acquisition presets back to the factory settings, click Reset to Factory. Additional Parameter Settings Scout View The Scout View enables you to target an area of interest during a quick scan with a reduced dose. Select a letter and change the target location. Select here or use the two cursors to adjust the window. Select here to reset the cursor. Adjust the contrast inversion in the User Preferences window. CSMAR CS Metal Artifact Reduction is an advanced filter that reduces artifacts. ANR Advanced Noise Reduction is an algorithm that reduces the noise in an image to better see small details, like a secondary root canal. Both MAR and ANR can be activated prior to acquisition. If you want to set MAR and ANR to be activated automatically, click the Menu button and then click General Settings. The User Preferences window is displayed. Click the toggle button to enable MAR and ANR, or click the toggle button again to disable them. Click the X to close the User Preferences window. Acquiring 3D Images Positioning a Patient Positioning a patient for the following 3D exam types. Upper arch lower arch, full jaw, focus field upper exam, and lower field focus exam. Prepare the unit and the patient. Then use the optimized face-to-face -face positioning system to position the patient. Note, in the patient's history record, any settings used during their first visit are automatically saved in order to save time for the exam. The patient height icon will appear in orange for returning patients. Identifying the correct 3D bite blocks. The unit is delivered with four bite blocks. Bite block number one centers the patient's arch within the 4x4, 5x5, 5x8, 8x9, 8x5, 10x10, and 10 by 5 centimeter diameter of the volume. Bite block number 2 is used to acquire 12 by 10 and 12 by 5 fields of view. The pediatric bite block offers the same focus as a standard bite block but is designed for use with a smaller jaw and the third molar offset bite block is used with the 5 by 5 and 4 by 4 left molar and right molar fields of view. Note, 3D Occlusion Cup is available as an option and can be used for field of view 8x12. Cover the bite block with a plastic hygienic barrier. Ensure the bite block is completely covered with the hygienic barrier. 
position and fit the 3D Byte Block support. Make sure you click it into place and push the locking latch down to lock the support in place. Before the patient enters the unit, ask the patient to remove any metal objects above the neck, including jewelry, glasses, hearing aids, prosthesis, metal hair clips, or other metal objects. Place the lead apron on the patient. and instruct the patient to stand next to the unit. Next, adjust the unit to the patient's height. The CS8200 3D Neo Edition can be easily adjusted for patients who are standing or sitting and is wheelchair accessible. Turn the adjustment knob clockwise to close the temple supports. Ask the patient to stand up straight with their feet at shoulder width. Ask the patient to bite into the 3D bite block. Make sure that the patient places the upper and lower incisors before the incisive stopper. Ask the patient to rest both hands on the lower handles of the head and chin rest. Ask the patient to relax and lower the shoulders. Note, for all focus field exams, Remove the standard temple support from the right or left clamp, depending on the side of the mouth targeted for the focus exam. Replace it with the offset temple support cone. Positioning the patient for 3D exam types, lower 3D exam, and lower focus field exam. Use the horizontal positioning indicators as a visual aid to adjust the up or down inclination of the patient head for a camper plane horizontal alignment. Horizontal occlusion. The camper plane passes through the lower border of the nose and the tragus of the ear. Using both hands, align the horizontal and vertical position of the head. Ensure that the patient's midline is aligned with the spine. Ask the patient to close their eyes, remain still, breathe through the nose. Instruct the patient not to swallow during the acquisition and to place the tongue on the palate. Exit the room. Maintain visual contact with the patient throughout the duration of the exposure. Launch the x-ray with the remote control. Simply press and hold the exposure button until the end of the acquisition is indicated by the on-screen release hand switch message and a short beep. The x-ray exposure indicator turns yellow and a warning sound is heard during x-ray emission. At the end of the x-ray, return to the room while the volume is being reconstructed. Release the patient and remove the hygiene barrier from the bite block. Now you should be able to choose the correct program for 2D and 3D exams. Position a patient for 2D and 3D exams. Acquire 2D or 3D images.